Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. If you're a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. So what we're going to talk about tonight is why can Unify VLANs be so confusing? So Unify does a few things with VLANs that not all vendors do. So we're going to break that down a little bit. We're going to talk about that and then see how you feel about it afterwards. So let's head over to the computer and take a look. Okay, so we are over here and we are at my standard UDM, my UDM base. And if we go to settings and networks, we're going to see a couple of things here. We're going to see a VLAN section and we're going to see this subnet section. So before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about how uh, traditional routers and switches and things work. So traditionally, you're going to have a VLAN, which is layer two. And then you're going to have a, route, a router interface. which is layer three. Now, we know that routing happens at layer three, switching happens at layer two. So normally these things are independent of, of each other, but you have to, at some point, link them together. So let's say that you have a switch and on your switch, you create, you know, a VLAN. So your VLAN 1, which is also confusing to some people, by default, this is untagged. And it doesn't even, it doesn't even really show up. But let's say you create VLAN 2. And you assign this port and this port to VLAN 2. As it stands with just this switch, only these two ports are going to be able to talk to each other because they are the only two ports in VLAN 2. And there's no layer 3 device. So see how this is coming together? A layer 3 device is required to get from VLAN 1 to VLAN 2. So let's take a look at how Unify handles this. And I get this question all the time. So if we go to create a new network, we're going to get a few options. And the first three really deal with v, uh, VLANs, corporate guest and VLAN only. So corporate and guest, you're going to notice, have this VLAN box, but then they also have the gateway IP subnet box. And this is because we are going to um, we are going to create that layer three interface, right? So that's, you know, Unify kind of blurs the lines here because if you're using corporate or guest, it is creating not only the VLAN for the switches, so we'll use 55 there, it is also going to create the layer three interface and it's going to, you know, marry those two. So I'm going to go ahead and click save there. So now what you see is you see VLAN is our network name. You see the subnet is 10.10.55.0/24 with a dot one interface, and you see the VLAN is 55. If I create a new network, and I could just call this VLAN 2, call it 22. We do a VLAN only and call it 22. Oh, that's uh, we already created that for the uh, the IoT, so we'll use 222. So now you can see that the name is VLAN 222, but it's a VLAN only, so it doesn't get any groups, it doesn't get a gateway, it doesn't get a port, it doesn't get a subnet, it only gets VLAN 222. Look at this, look at the difference. This is, you can use this page to give you an idea of what is happening. So the gateway, 
for VLAN 222 is not the UDM base. See, it is missing from this. So this is this is how Unify kind of blurs these lines of being able to do all of these things for you when you create this. And this is why it's a little bit confusing for some people. Let's go back to our drawing. And let me draw this again, just... Um, So you must have, let's say it again, we must have on a, on a network to get out, here's your router. I know, beautiful router here. Here's your switch. And these are VLAN 2. And these are VLAN 1. I know you're jealous of my artwork. It's coming together here. Now you've got a connection between the router and the switch. Now once that happens, as long as this VLAN has an L3 interface, it's going to be able to talk to VLAN 1. So, a VLAN must have a gateway or an L3 interface to get out of itself. Does that make sense? All right, so let's go back to Unify. And we'll take a look at this. So VLAN 222 is a VLAN only. So right now, if I come over to the switch, so if I come over here and I go to this port, and I edit this port and I change this to 222, and I apply that, the only thing that that is going to be able to talk to is other devices that are on VLAN 222. And why is that? Because it does not have a gateway. We are not depending on the UDM. We are depending on some other device providing that gateway out of VLAN 222. But if we look at VLAN, you will see that the gateway is the UDM base. And the gateway IP is 10.10.55.1/24. So the UDM created that layer 3 interface, or Unify created it on the UDM, married it to VLAN 55. So now if we come back over here to devices, we come over here and we edit this port, and we choose VLAN 55. Now that VLAN is going to have absolutely full access to the internet. It's going to have access to the other VLANs and the whole bit because it has that, that device. Let me see if I can draw this one more quick time and see if, because I don't know that I'm explaining it 100% uh, the way that I want. But you have a VLAN by itself is layer two. So we'll call this VLAN 55. Then down here, you have VLAN 222. Two. This is also L2. Okay, then down here you have a router. And your router goes out to the internet. Okay, so this is your WAN. And then you've got
a LAN connection. And it goes to your switch. And for VLAN 222, you've got these three ports right here. And down here on the LAN, we've got a layer 3 interface for VLAN 1, and we've got a layer 3 interface for VLAN 55, but we do not have one for 222. So we've got this port and this port and this port here. But then these are married to this layer 3 interface down here. So now these can all get everything from here can now flow through here. It's going to go through here, it's going to go out through the WAN and out through the internet. But these VLANs, this VLAN does not have an interface here so they can only talk amongst each other. Does that make sense? But the way that the way that Unify does it, um, the way that Unify does it, it kind of it kind of obscures that, it kind of blurs what's happening because it creates all of this for you. The software does all of this for you. If we were using a different vendor, we would have to create the VLAN on the switch. We'd have to create the layer three interface on the router and we would have to marry those up. So I hope that clears up some confusion. Hopefully it didn't confuse you anymore. Put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. But that this is kind of like how Unify blurs those lines between layer two and layer three. Seriously, let me know in the comments whether this helped you or whether you're more confused now. All right, that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you need that IT consulting. Go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you want to support the channel by using our Amazon links or any other affiliate links, they are down below. Don't feel obligated to do that, but it does kick a couple bucks over to the channel and help us out. So once again, I want to thank you all for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.